This is a tailor-made TP5X Pix golf ball, and this is a, well it's, um, well, it's almost a golf ball. But what's the difference? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Well, that felt good. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I would like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. Guys, if you are new here, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content I bring to you guys every single day. And also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you do leave us likes and I know that you know that I know that we know that I know that the Almost Golf Ball knows that you're enjoying this content. And as always, I want you to be a part of my video. So today, hit those comments below. What are you doing in your garden during isolation? to um, stop me going crazy. Um, that is a bed sheet, so it may be too late for me, but this is what I'm doing. So in today's video, we're gonna test the almost golf ball against the ball I'm using. Well, that felt good. The tailor-made TP5X Pix golf ball. Now you can tell already that there is a slight difference in size. The almost golf ball is almost the size of a golf ball. You kind of see where this test is going to go, guys. You see, I'm not going to lie, there is going to be a huge difference between these balls because the almost ball is made out of foam. I'll cut it open for you later and show you there. Now, there's no middle to it, there's no core to it, and it comes in loads of different colours. I mean, I don't know why you'd do that, really. But it is absolutely perfect for this kind of thing and also for the hole in one challenge is that I filmed last week. If you've not seen that guys, that is a very, it's a bit like a man's mission to prove himself right. Um, no spoilers, but it's a decent video. So you might want to watch it. That's linked up there now. And for today's test, so we're not just testing the capabilities of the hole in one on Amen Garden. We're not just testing the, the ball for putting. We are gonna use our very own little launch monitor that we got from American Golf this week. Guys, remember there is a giveaway running on the channel for a Garmin Approach G80. So if you do want to enter that, then I will link that competition up there now. Make sure you do go over there, make sure you follow this channel, subscribe to this channel, like that video and comment on that video followed. Not on this video, on that video. Um, you might have already entered anyway, but basically today we're gonna to test the almost golf ball against the tailor-made Pix golf ball using this and just seeing how much difference is. Then we're also gonna test it for short shots, so for the hole in one challenge, and we might do a bit of putting with it as well. You're in for a treat today. Okay, so to start off with guys, we are gonna hit the normal golf ball. So we're gonna hit the TP5X. Um, you may have noticed that since the video that we did creating the indoor simulator or the garden simulator, we've moved a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, we've had a few close calls with the window, so, um, yeah, we, we, we literally can't miss a fence, can we? Right, first shot, TP5. We've got loads of padding there as well, so if you do do this at home, make sure you do it safely. It's usually about 165. And that was a bit heavy. That was a warm-up shot, 150. It was more like it, what we're talking now. And for me, this just kind of shows how accurate this machine can be, so... 149 carry, I'm not going, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not going full beans at the fence there. 166 total, quite happy with that. Club head speed of 78, ball speed 109. So let's hit a couple more with the TP5, let's get a bit of an average. I don't think you can store these as an average, so we're gonna store them in a heads, guys. So you who are watching now, remember club head speed 78, and the other guys remember ball speed 109. This is what they used to do at school, isn't it? I mean, we'll remember 149 and 166 continue also guys i have noticed on here you can play augusta um, i'll put this in the corner now who thinks we should do that comment below if you'd like to see that we do know that this ball is going to perform pretty well in this test now we're getting there now we are getting there. I'm going to keep walking to you guys because I have no idea how to show it on the screen apart from doing that. So pretty good numbers again, as you can see there. Starting to build a bit of consistency. Let's hit one more. Then let's go almost golf and let's see if it even registers. I hope it registers. Otherwise, this is a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? But 
we've got time, haven't we? We've got loads of time to kill. Oh, that was a great strike. That was over the house and going into the bypass, I think, that one. Exactly the same, 155 carry, right. Let's have a look at why I'm putting that down, because all we need to do is swap swap these over. So TP5 goes underneath now, almost golf ball goes here. Please, please work. Seven iron. Can we get this over 100 yards? Guys, hit those comments below. If I get this over 100 yards, that is a fantastic achievement, to be fair. Please just pick it up. We've nailed that one. Mm. Signs aren't good. Oh, we've got one. Yes, we've got one and it's gone. I'll tell you what, absolutely nailed it. And we got one at 133, going 148 now. Um, I mean, we did nail it. Let's go again. So interesting there, club speed of 80. So the club head speed was pretty good. Ball speed 101. Not entirely sure about that one either, but if this does work... Oh, we've got it stuck in the bed in. The girlfriend's not going to be happy with that. Um, sorry, babe. We can get it out, though. It's, do you repair pitch marks? And I've got a pitch mark repair. We can just... There we go. Right, we're going to hit a couple more seven irons with the almost golf ball. Then we're going to hit some drivers with it. I'm not going to lie, guys. I really don't trust my handiwork hitting a golf ball with a driver at the fence. So we'd, we'll go on an average, I think, for that. Nailed it again. I'll tell you what, I should play with these more often. It's not picked it up that time, but we do need to press continue. We've got it. We've got it again. What have we got? I'll tell you what, 133, club head speed. So 133, club head speed 82. Let's go. Yeah, we do. So estimated carry. We'll go on carry. 133, club head speed 82, ball speed 101, smash 123. That's what's telling me we are getting a reading for this golf ball because a smash with a seven iron will usually be high 130s. Tempo's pretty good at 3.1. So, so not as big a difference as I anticipated with the seven iron. Let's hit, uh, let's hit a couple of drivers with this and see if we can. Can we get it over 200? That'd be fun, won't it? Right. Has anyone got a tea peg? I don't think we've even got one in here, really. And really, guys, I can't kind of explain enough how much fun I'm having with this uh, this Garmin G80. It's really, uh, it's just kind of made my quarantine, really, if that's even a thing. Can we get that in there? I mean, if we sky that, that's going. Have we got room? Tell me we've got room. Well, we're off the mat to start with. I'll tell you what, that is so close. Oh, we got it. It got it. And what has it given us an estimate? Um, um, and you know what? This is probably about right. I just can't see the ball going any further than that. It would be good if this machine gave a spin rate, but it doesn't. Club speed 93, so we've picked up club speed there. That's still low on what I would expect, but again, I mean, the, the neighbours are right the other side of that, so I don't really want to hit it too hard. Ball speed, 119. And tempo, 3. Let's go one more with the big dog. I'll tell you what, I'm more than happy that I don't need to hit proper golf balls in the garden because these do the job perfectly, especially if I'm just working on a few movements. No problems at all. Who would like to see me play a round of golf with the almost golf ball? That could be quite fun. We've not puttered with it yet. It might have lost its shape a little bit. But we'll get upstairs and do that very shortly. Anyone found the tea? Tea bag, anyone? Ah. Oh, we're through. We're in. Right. Come on, we're going to up it and see if we can get this to 200 yards. Spread it again. You know what? Once it gets warmed up, this machine. Yes! Get in. Check those numbers out. Ah. Oh. Club head speed 100, ball speed 124, smash 124, over 200 yards. Not sure I'd like to play golf in the wind with the almost golf ball though, because it, um, it's very, very light. 
Let's have some pitching practice. Let's see how the difference is with the almost ball and the TP5. Then let's get inside and do a bit of putting. Right guys, let's put the driver away, however much fun that was. And let's see how these balls compare pitching. And we're gonna go lob wedge. Chris would kill me for this. But we're gonna keep the G80 down by the side. So we're gonna carry on warming up and just see if it does pick up pitch shots as well. So remember guys, these are all almost balls just to start with. Long. Didn't pick it up that time. Wouldn't expect it to pick these up to be honest. See how they're moving on the mat with the wind now we're out of the shelter. Definitely need to practice this again. You can see how it took me so long to have a one. Spoiler. Go on. So you can see I'm giving it a pretty full swing and it's going, oh, we picked that one up that time and we got the washing line. So this whole Amen Garden measures 20 yards and it's picked that one up, 25 yards carry, 20, 25 yards carry, 23 yards total. It's not far off because we're a little bit long. Should we go proper balls now and you'll see the difference in the swing. These also aren't that bad, they were just a bit aggressive. I'd noticed you couldn't see them there. They're, um, they're not terrible. Right, okay, proper ball now. So we're gonna carry on with the G80 and see how it does. And I can really only just give it a bit of a, a clip here or we will be in the neighbor's garden and we don't want that. Firm, very firm. Washing line again, didn't pick it up, let's go one more. Got that time, you do have to be closer to it. What's this one got? See this one, this one's actually really accurate. 20 yard carry, 22 yards total. That's just about bang on with a club edge speed of 29 and a ball speed of 24. Guys, that's it for the outdoor section of this review of the almost golf ball. And I've got to say so far that I'm really, really impressed with it. I don't feel like I have to have proper golf balls in the house or in the garden to improve. And that's the main thing. What about putting? Let's find out. Right guys, we're not going to lie, first time with a put out mat, so bear with me. Um, spoiler alert as well. Oh, what are they in there? These are... These are two spares that put out have sent, so they're going to be going out in a video in a couple of days and there will be a giveaway for both of those, so make sure you do stay tuned to the channel for that. But for now, let's test these. Saw that going better. It's longer than I thought. Um, there we go. Oh, that's my kind of setup. Um, there, done, easy. Right, so I guess now we pick a weapon of choice. Um, let's go this one. And all I really want to do, I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time on the put-out mat, but I just wanna test how the almost balls roll, that was a wide, compared to normal golf balls. Definitely got to hit them harder. It might help if I use two hands, potentially. Oh yes, first time. Has that ever been done? First time on a put out mat with two hands and we're in. I'm not sure if that's ever been done, but I am definitely gonna leave the actual ball at that and have a 100% record. What about the almost ball? Cause that's why we're all watching. Let me just remove that from there. Thank you. Right, definitely got way too excited about that. But the almost ball definitely has something to live up to now. Oh. 
Tell you what, it doesn't feel as bad as I expected. I expected it to be, to be honest, rubbish. And it does hold its line. I mean, this potentially as well, is potentially one that the dogs had hold of as well. So um, that doesn't help. Let's line it up. Oh, you'd think it'd be easier because it's smaller, but it rolls a dream. It's left. Right guys, so that was a scientific in-depth review of the Almost Golf Ball, comparing it to a tailor-made TP5X Picks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed that. And I think for what these are as a product, remember hit those comments below if you'd like to see me play with these out on the golf course when we are not in lockdown. And also, if you do want to win yourself your very own Garmin Approach G80, make sure you do check out the video that I have linked in the bio. Huge thanks to American Golf for that. It's really helping me practice during this quarantine period, this lockdown period. Apart from that, guys, we're nearly there. We are nearly there. I don't know if you're seeing this, but we're so close. Guys, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world. And apart from that, I'll just very much look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. I mean, I don't know why you'd do that, really, because that's just wasting time now. But we have time. We have time, and everyone should stay at home and stay safe, like we're doing. <laughs>